Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shawan Burns. If this is the first time, please click that like button and that subscribe button. In today's video, we are going to talk about the Duns and Bradstreet and business credit profile of how you could build one. Okay, we're just gonna give you some preliminary information for our first phase video. If you're wondering what the Downs and Bradstreet number is and if you haven't received one, you need to watch that last video that I created and it's a step-by-step -step of how you could obtain your Downs and Bradstreet number and what it is. Okay, so hopefully you already watched that video. Now, what is next? That's what we're gonna focus on for the next few months is four phases uh, to build a better business credit profile, okay? And we're gonna do this strategically. That's why there are four phases to the video. This is phase zero, I guess you wanna call it, okay? For your business credit profile is Duns and Bradstreet, which controls majority of the information. You Then you have Experian, and Equifax, Equifax being the lesser reporter. So we're gonna tell you how to do that. Okay, so another thing that you need to know that the Duns and Bradstreet reports and assigns rating to your business. This rating is called a Paydex score. A Paydex score is your timely payment. So if you're paying your business credit card on time. That's what it reports. That's what you, you get your generated paydex score. It's nothing like your FICO score, okay? So it's totally different. Paydex assigns a numerical score from one to 100 on your business payment performance. It's calculating using 875 last payments of your business. If you're paying your vendors on time, then you're gonna get a score, okay? That's if your vendors are reporting to Duns & Bradstreet. To establish good credit, you need about five trade accounts. And on the accounts that report, they need to be reporting to generate a paydex score. And this is weighted average. So say for instance, account A, there's a, a line of credit of $1,000 and you pay that on time or above time. So you have a paydex score of 80, but if you have a line of credit of $5,000 to a trade account and you're paying late, this will have more adverse effect on your account because your total accounts are $6,000. 85% from that bad credit or $5,000 credit line 85% of your score is coming from that credit line. So we're gonna tell you how you could get these credit lines and how you could make better decisions of when to pay them, okay? So you could generate a really good score and our goal is to generate a paydex score above 80. So the next couple of videos, we're gonna talk about what accounts that you should open and how you could open them and to produce this 80 and above paydex score. So let's talk about the Duns and Bradstreet payment, payment score system, okay? So 100 to 90, so if your business have 100 to 90, you pay the invoice probably 20 to 25 days earlier. You want to be in between 89 and 86. That is a company or your business paying your debt from 15 to 20 days prior to the due date. If your score is between 83 and 85, it's paying six to 10 days prior to the due date. And if it's just 80 or around that range, you're paying just on time. So you're paying on the actual due date. So it's always good to pay or 15 to 20 days on whatever trade lines you have to generate that score just above 80, okay? So we want it between 90 and 80, okay? If you're late, you're gonna get a score below 80, probably 70, 
you know, if you're 15 days late, your score is probably about 60. And if you're 25 beyond the due date, 25 days beyond the due date, you're probably generating a score about 50. So we don't want to do that. You could kiss your business credit goodbye. We want a score above the 80 mark. Let's talk about the other stuff that will come up on your business credit profile and how to read your business credit profile. So the Duns and Bradstreet business credit report, if you provide a financials for your business, you will also get another rating and you will have a rating between 5A2 to HH. The score reflects your company size of your business and your net worth of your business. The one represents the size. So at the end of that score, if you have a one, it represents the size. That's 10 or more employees. If you have a two, that's uh, t uh, 10 or less or less than 10 employees. And if you provided your financials for your business, it will assign a composite score to you. So that's if you did not provide financials for your business. And that score is between two and four. If you have not been in business over a year, you probably haven't had the credit worthiness to receive a loan, okay? There's a lot of other people out there saying, oh, get a loan, just a startup loan. You can get a loan, a startup loan, less than a year, but a lot of times these are predatory lenders, okay? So we don't want predatory lenders. We want to get the best loan for our business, the best rates for our business, and the best terms for our business. So if someone says, oh, you could get a loan less than a year, these are cash receipts loans. And a lot of times they have higher fees and higher interest rates associated. And it's a less time associated with those business loans. Once we get started, check on your business credit a no more than twice a month to make sure those accounts are reporting accurate. Okay. So that was the end of our introductory course to building our business credit profile. You want to stay tuned, click the notification bell because we're going to talk about phase one of our business credit profile. I will see you in the next video. I am sending all my good to you. I will talk to you soon.